and sound of that thing just gives me such a warm feeling. The time has come. I thought I have found a reason to procrastinate a little while longer. No trash bags. Then I found this whole roll. And I'm gonna do some stuff with um, a chain link or piece of a chain. And I can't find any chain or piece of chains. So, and I know I've got plenty, so gotta clean the place up. I'm gonna mix in some hopefully interesting stuff though. This beautiful three-point micrometer arrived from uh, Sander Danielsen Stolzen. It's, uh, it's a really nice tool, much nicer than my old and now defect China thing. I know there's some controversy around three-point versus two-point for, um, for measuring cylinders. Can't detect ov ovality or ov ovalicity like a two-point can, but it can detect a uh, kind of a lobed cylinder or it will average out I think it'll average out a bore that's uh, that's out of round in a more complicated way and I think that's that's the case in most cases that it's not the perfect oval or perfect round so, and it's all I've got so it'll be fine it'll be fine Mark Atkinson has finished machining those um, new pistons. Not just one, but five of them. So they're in the mail and should arrive soon or as fast as the mail can bring them here. So there's no need for this being attached anymore. New design now. Almost forgotten that I've got this thing. It's a wideband auto sensor, so that's going on the new dyno. This was given to me by someone. Uh, sorry, I can't remember your name, but uh, thanks, man. It's years ago. I haven't used it yet. I will. I found this prop, it's a uh, Allen Lubuk L, but I've inserted a page here which I uh, which I wrote on a on an old school typewriter, and I this was a prop for one of my um, well I didn't use it, but it was meant to be used for um, one of my videos when I was the first time I was testing with uh, nitromethane and uh, or methanol and nitromethane. There was no doubt in his mind that he had taken the first step towards something greater, far greater than life itself. Needless to say, the numerous, numerous deaths and unspeakable suffering was dwarfed by the incredible gain in horsepower that was to come. I've hooked up the cylinder leak down tester to the rat scoot. I've never used one of these before, so um, I'm curious to see how it behaves. I've uh, heard rumors that uh, these cheap ones are not the best, of course, but uh, let's see how it behaves. <laughs> so. If we go by the numbers on this gauge, this engine is fairly good because we're seeing 
next to zero. I'm moving it uh, now, so very little leakage. I did think I had to run about 100 psi though, and um, when the instructions say I'll I should set it so that it sits at zero before I start testing, and with it sitting on zero, it's around 30 psi or so. You saw it on the video there. Hmm. So I'm not sure how uh, how well this works. I have to do some research. <laughs> always, always have to do some research. I always do research. Okay. New drill press. I know this is kind of plasticky, and uh, I've seen it many times in the store, and I've <laughs> I just thought it looked weird. Watched some videos, and it has some uh, neat features. It displays RPM. There's two gears, pretty powerful uh, motor. It's uh, 700 watts, I think. Uh, variable speed control. It uh, can show depth of uh, drilling on a digital display here and it seems to be uh, pretty accurate it has this neat uh, clamping function even though i'll probably most of the time use a vice but yeah and i'm not i'm not using it that much it's uh, the occasional hole and and i'm planning to buy something much more accurate which can also drill holes eventually or build something it won't have to perform very good before it's much better than what I used to use here. Piece of shit I rescued from a friend throwing it out years ago. So, yeah. My cylinder studs arrived. Not the most exciting thing to, um, to have arrive. As we have them, we might as well assemble the whole thing and just see what it looks like. Okay, I'll uh, continue cleaning up this place, waiting for parts, and um, stay tuned for some proper engine videos when parts arrive. When we can get that uh, cylinder honed with the honing plates on, when the new pistons arrive, I can't wait. I'm, uh, I can't thank Mark Atkinson enough. I think thank. I can't thank Mark Atkinson enough. Just think, just think, <laughs> what a job he's done here. For free, five completely new pistons designed with rings. It's just insane. So um, thank you, Mark. Thank you. I can't thank you enough. And all you guys watching, and all uh, my Patreon supporters, and just everybody. This is this has turned into quite the adventure. It's awesome. See you next time.